everybody and welcome back to the Aqua Security Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anis Ulis. I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you real quick how you can enable metrics by default for the Trivi Operator. The Trivi Operator runs inside of your Kubernetes cluster and continuously scans your resources for vulnerabilities, for config auto reports and more. Now, you can now enable metrics by default for the Trivia Operator and then query your metrics, for example, from your vulnerability reports directly through Prometheus and visualize them in Grafana. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm here connected to my three node digital ocean Kubernetes cluster. It's a simple Kubernetes cluster standard cluster. You can also use an other Kubernetes cluster as example. Now, opening up the cluster in K9S, you can see here the kube system namespace. And then I also have set up the monitoring namespace. Now in the monitoring namespace, I have the kube Prometheus stack helm chart installed, Loki and prompt here for logs. If you want to follow along and you want to view your metrics and query metrics, you should have Prometheus installed. Now you can also use another Prometheus installation if you fancy. So I now want to go ahead and install Trivi, specifically the Trivi Kubernetes operator inside of my cluster with metrics enabled and service monitors enabled. So here's Trivi operator. It's a separate repository to Trivi. Looking at the documentation, you can find within getting started and then the installation section, the Helm installation. Now the Helm installation will provide you the standard installation. I will create a namespace and I will tell to ignore unfixed vulnerabilities. Now, Looking at the deployment, we have here our Helm deployment. This is the entire Helm chart. Now within the values YAML file, we can look at metrics to see which parts are metrics. Now finding metrics that are related to the trivia operator is by default enabled in the Helm chart. However, what's not enabled by default is the service monitor. So here's the command on how we can enable the service monitor within the Helm chart set service monitor dot enabled true. Now looking again at the value SAML file, we can see that here's our service monitor and it's not enabled by default. So we will have to enable it so Prometheus can discover the metrics from the Trivi operator. So let's install the Helm chart inside of our Kubernetes cluster. And now we can open our Kubernetes cluster and we can go ahead to our different namespaces and look at our Trivi system namespace that just got created for the Trivi operator. And here we can see the Trivi operator is running and then all of the vulnerability reports that run as jobs are already spun up. Now, we can look at the service monitor that got created for the Trivi operator. Now the service monitor is necessary so Prometheus can discover the metrics from Trivi operator. Looking at the namespaces again, going to the monitoring namespace and forwarding Prometheus from the services. So we're just gonna forward to Prometheus operator running on port 9090 to our local host 9090. opening localhost 9090 for Prometheus. We can then look at within status to our service discovery. And here are the different service monitors that Prometheus knows about, including our Trivi system service monitor. Now you want to make sure that there are target labels identified to make sure it can actually scrape metrics from the Trivi operator. Now looking at the targets, we can see whether or not the target is up and you want to make sure that that's just green and up <laughs> and then we can go ahead and we can also, well, look at the metrics that are coming from, now we can look at the metrics that are coming from the trivia operator. For this, we're going to port forward trivia operator to localhost 8080. And then on localhost 8080 slash metrics, we're gonna find all of the metrics that are coming from the Trivi operator. You want to make sure that you go to dash metrics. 
And here you can find all of the different metrics that are generated and that we can query within Prometheus. So here we have, for example, have the Trivi cluster rule, cluster RBAC assessment, and then um, we have vulnerabilities, and we have exposed secrets. All of those are coming from the Trivi operator scan within your Kubernetes cluster. So querying metrics, we can look at all of the vulnerability metrics that are found from our different vulnerability reports. So this includes critical and high vulnerabilities and low vulnerabilities and everything in between. And then we can also go ahead and we can query for a specific resource. Now, I know that I have Tracy running inside of my cluster as well. So I'm going to look for Tracy and I can find here that Tracy has some low vulnerabilities. So I want to query the low vulnerabilities. I can put them into Prometheus as well, the metrics, and then just query it. And then I can also say sum and count for my different metrics. So how many <laughs> uh, scans are there? There's one scan for Tracy that identified low vulnerabilities. And then sum, there's a total of six low vulnerabilities. This is how you query the metrics in Prometheus from the Trivia Operator. Like always, please let us know if this video was useful. If you have any questions, please comment below. Join the Acro Security Open Source Slack channel, also linked below. Check out the Trivia Operator. Give it a star on GitHub. It would mean a lot to us. I hope to see you in one of our upcoming videos. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.